today I'll be going over beam analysis using the SSA 1000. You'll need the following materials for this project. A steel or aluminum beam, a steel ruler, calipers, digital weight scale, and the SSA 1000. You'll need to measure the length of the beam to the nearest 1 16th of an inch and sketch the cross-sectional area of the beam and record the dimension. Next, you'll use the calipers to measure the cross-sectional dimension of your sample. To use the calipers, you'll find the sum of three numbers. First, the number on the spindle. These are one-tenth of an inch. Second, the four tick marks between. These are 25 one-thousandths of an inch. And then finally, the number on the dial is one one-thousandth of an inch. The readings are 0 0.2, 0 0.025, 0 0.019, sum 0.244. Then you'll be required to calculate the cross-sectional properties for bending and set up a beam experiment with the concentrated load in the mill. Assume the material properties and find the yield load and deflection at increments of the load. For our project, we use increments of from 30 to 450 pounds. And we determine P at yield and deflection at various increments of load up to yield. Then you'll weigh the beam to determine the materials assuming a density. Now place the sample into the SSA 1000 in the same orientation as your loading diagram for the best results. And make sure your unbraced length is the same as your calculated unbraced length. Click on the SSA icon and wait for it to load. Then click new test and then incremental and set your desired increment. Then click set and make sure it doesn't say continuous mode. Now press test. After you hit test, it will stop at the desired increments. Record the deflection each time until it yields. Finally, compare your calculated values to your test results and be able to explain why there's a difference if there is one.